this game is pretty intense. It's a big world on the brink of destruction and you're stuck in the middle of it. We try to give this feeling to the player that is always, you know, uh, under attack. So you always to be careful of what you're doing. Like when you're in the thick of a firefight with the Navi and the Corp, you've got choppers flying around, you've got the Banshees zipping by you. You've got soldiers in ATVs shooting all over the place. Plants that are attacking you, you've got creatures that are attacking you from all different angles. You can call in airstrikes and those blast the hell out of everything. Everything is blowing around you, you're just running for your life because you're in the middle of this battle. The corporation has a very large arsenal of weaponry. So they're kind of this force that can just rip through the land and overpower whatever's in front of them. You've got great kick butt military hardware. And so it, it looks and feels real. It's not lasers and things that are hard to relate to. This is good old fashioned chemical powered projectile weapons that throw a lot of brass and make a lot of noise and have a lot of recoil. My favorite weapon still is the flamethrower because you can go in the wall and burn everything. Putting this world to flame, it's nice, all right? It's pretty cool. The coolest weapon, I would say, for the RDA has to be the amp suit. As a player, you sit in the belly of this machine, and it really kind of mimics your actions. Huge mech, extremely agile. It's just kind of what you imagine for brute force and bullets. <laughs> We've got some pretty awesome flying machines. You can fly these scorpions, which are these single pilot choppers, and fire off these rockets that just kind of go pew, 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 pew is really pretty cool. Never underestimate the Navi. They are peaceful people, you know, but they are also warriors. When you see them coming, they're scary. They're not, they're not Ewoks, right? They are warriors. They use, they use bone, they use uh, wood. Leather, volcanic glass uh, weapons, like fighting staff, they have an ax. You have dual blades, which are probably the most savage out of all of them. A neurotoxin tipped bow and arrow. Which sounds like, oh, okay, but <laughs> they're huge, right? So it's like a massive arrow coming out at you. So they're pretty powerful. Where the Corp have vehicles, the Navi have creatures. We can ride around on a, on a Thanator, which is uh, super awesome. The Thanator is like a, a huge tire. You can ride it, you can attack people. It's fast, it's big, it's uh, extremely scary. It's a big game. You have two different experiences. Different gameplay, different mechanics, uh, different vehicles, different weaponry, even the combat itself. And each of them tailored for different kind of experience. We're looking around the landscape of, of other licensed games. There's got to be a way to do this better. The question was, could we do something really unique that hadn't been done before or take it to a new level?